I've always been curious as a child. I was always the child in class that put my hand up and asked questions constantly. So I was probably very annoying. But to me, it, it's about investigation. It's, my work is about exploration and experiential. So I like to ask questions of myself. What would happen if I did this and put that together with it? And so it's really a, a way of um, uncovering things by asking questions. The Seed Vessel Project is um, one that is still very much a seed, <laughs> even though I have 220, let's see, I did a couple more whilst you were here, so about 224. Um, I have a vision of this as a large installation um, with light and sound that the vessels make. And it's not fully formed for me as, a, as really truly what it's about, but I'm compelled to keep making them. I like the physicality of clay. I like the fact that it's um, very pliable to a point, but it's also extremely fragile. I absolutely put myself <laughs> into my work um, from whether it's fingerprints in the clay that end up on the final product, which is another reason why I don't like glazing ceramics, to my breathing in my work, um, to, um, I, you know, I put mud all over my body at times and <laughs> done a bunch of different things like that. So it's... Yes, my w I am in my work very physically, so it's a very physical embodiment of, of me. Being aware of my breath first started when I was working on my newsprint series, and that was in Seattle. And somebody just asked me, um, what's underneath the newspaper? And I thought about that, and I realized... I was going to say nothing, but actually there, there's my breathing is under the, under the work that forms these ripples on the, on the paper. So it was, it was then that I consciously started incorporating my breath as a rhythmic movement to generate the work. So when I inhaled, I was using a light, fine line on the paper, and as I exhaled, I would increase the pressure on the brush to allow more ink onto the paper. So it became a record of my breathing at, at that time. I'm paying very close attention to when I'm working and not trying to let my mind wander. And that, that can be challenging. I do practice um, a meditation, and that's a very necessary part of my process in, in my artwork and in my daily life. I use different materials. Um, for example, graphite, ink, paper, clay, and they're all natural materials. I, I don't like to work with um, synthetics in any way. So I think I like to be connected with, with the earth and things that have been living at least at some point in their iteration. <laughs> for example, sumi inks normally used for calligraphy and, and brush paintings, and I've been using it in a way that's more contemporary and less traditional but I still feel like I'm honoring the ancient practice of, of those arts. A friend of mine last year said to me, well, you know, Native Americans have seed pots. And I didn't know that. That really resonated with me. So when I say honoring ancient practices, that feels like there's a connection there with those. They're very animated. And I actually started made, making um, vessels back in 1991, but they were a different, slightly different form. So they've been around a while, and now they're, they're getting they're talking, momentum. They're, they're talking, singing. Yeah, singing, absolutely. Let's hope they're singing a good earth song. <laughs>